Warning, the following video either does or is likely to contain flashing lights and imagery. As such, please consider this a warning for anyone who suffers from epilepsy. Watch this video at your own risk. Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome to the demo for Unfollow. This is a game which is um, on Steam and um, it's planned, well the full version I should say, is planned for release in the second quarter of 2023, so not for a little bit yet. But this demo is available and it looks kind of interesting. Um, it's made on Unreal Engine and apparently it's a horror game all about social media, something like that. So there's going to be some interesting themes I think coming through in this one. Um, something just to note when I loaded up the game there was an epilepsy warning so if you do suffer from epilepsy um, you know do be advised uh, there may be imagery such as flashing imagery and things in this which may trigger um, seizures or you know adverse effects so just bear that in mind um, and watch this kind of at your own discretion uh, I'll probably hopefully if I remember this to do so I always say this kind of thing but if I remember I'll try and put a epilepsy warning of my own as well uh, just before the opening titles of my video I mean then again if, if I don't know if actually do I need to put that there considering that actually I'm giving the epilepsy warning right now probably not but I don't know maybe it's just to be on the safe side maybe I should I don't know okay um, right so yeah um, other than what I've just outlined there I don't really know too much about this um, about this particular horror game in terms of you know is it gonna involve monsters chases jump scares that kind of thing um, we'll see let's just throw ourselves right in so um, I did do an initial bit of testing just before and like I said this is made on Unreal Engine and I'm hoping that the um, frame rate for the graphics isn't too bad because just when I initially tested it, I tested it on the highest graphics settings and um, what happened? Where am I? The frame rate was a bit choppy, it's a bit it's a little bit choppy now it's sort of hanging around about the 30 mark which is not too bad because um, I basically put the graphic preset the graphics preset down to about sort of medium there or thereabouts I mean it still looks pretty good to me anyway but yeah, you might just notice that the frame rate isn't 100% smooth in places. God, it's like dropped to about 24 just then. So, we'll handle it. Photo of Anne as a child. I guess uh, that's our character. Okay, mouse wheel to zoom. You look like a very unhappy child, I'm going to say. Okay, so where are we going? Are we going... Oh boy. Well, it's dark with a lot of candles that are throwing out incredibly little light. <laughs> Do you remember... Back in my Outlast playthrough, people commenting on how the candles seem to throw incredibly little light. It's too dark. I can't see anything. I need a light. That's not what the subtitles just said. Okay. So, we need to find a light. Okay. Where are we going to get a light from? Is the a candle? Could we just pick up a candle and carry that with us? Ooh, look at that. God, yeah. The FPS is taking a bit of a dive when I look in that direction. Apologies. Oh god, do I need to take it even lower? What happens if I take the preset down? God, because, like, look at this. Quality preset is already a medium. If I go... No, not epic. I didn't want epic. If I go low, what's that going to look like? It's going to look like a potato, though, isn't it? Uh Oh god, yeah. It's it's alright. God, it's still... Still not high, though. It doesn't feel like that's really changed anything. I'm not going to lie. Weird. Alright, let me put it back up to medium. I don't want it looking like a complete potato. Okay, there we go. Save, yes. There we are. Oh, did I not save it when I did it before? I don't know. Alright, so I've got to find a light somewhere, clearly. God, we're down at freaking like 20 FPS here, looking at this chest of drawers. Christ almighty, this is like fucking playing Alien Isolation again. <laughs> Low frame rate. You know, there's a game which, I've said before, I would... You know, I wish I kind of held off on playing that until when I had, you know... I, w I wish I hadn't played that back in the day. I wish I'd held off on playing it until I had my current PC build. Because that way, you know, things would have been better. I would have had a more stable FPS. Sigmund Freud, Civilization, It's Discontents. And that feels like a bit of symbolism being put in right there. Okay. That picture there, can we look at that? Photo of Anne in elementary school. There's probably a lot that I could be looking at. In uh, on these shelves and things. You got your plush, I guess. Can I go through the door? I can, but that is dark in there. We don't want to go in that area. Alright. 
Well, that's um, ominous. Why is that cracked like that? Anything I look at here? Picture there. Definitely can't. Can I? No, I can't open the drawer. Okay, that's not happening. So we gotta find the light. Oh, but I can open that cupboard. Steve Queen, day and night. Books. Well, there's gonna be something lying around, isn't there? Because there's books everywhere down here. Okay, it looks like there's only certain things you can really click on and look at. I think you just have to click on things because there doesn't seem to be an icon that tells you, you know, this is something specifically that you can. Ooh. I wonder if that's what it wants me to pick up there. No, oh, never mind. No, it's just a weird little light. That's locked. Bust. Well, you're showing me that. Boy, do we want to go upstairs? I don't think we do. Do we? I don't know. Things are lighting up as we go along over here. Never mind. Maybe this is where we want to go. Is that me? Is that my character? Haha! That looks like a torch. Hello, hello. A flashlight. Good. But it doesn't work. Shit. No batteries. Maybe they're around here somewhere. Oh boy, is it going to be one of those kind of horror games where you have to find batteries? And it's locked. Well, it says they're around here somewhere. They'll probably be downstairs again, won't they? Of course, they won't just be in the, you know, same location as where you keep the actual torch. They'll be somewhere else. Look at the pictures. Can we see pictures? Do I have a crouch? Oh, I do have a crouch. Okay, let's see. What's with a book with a giant eye on it? Wait, do I have a jump? Oh god, it feels like there might be a sprint. Hold on. So, that's my default walking speed that I'm showing right there. Now. Yeah, it feels like there's... Yeah, there is a sprint, but it feels like it's barely... Okay, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a sprint. Oh god, why is that so dark? Yeah, light that up, please, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh. Didn't even realise that was a radio that I could actually interact with. Well, never mind. Batteries, please. Where would they be? Um, is there a drawer around somewhere that I can open? Oh. Well, this suddenly opened. Clearly my bedroom. Are you a fan of Doctor Who, Anne? Feels like maybe you are. Okay. Go into any of the drawers here? Do any of them open? No. Not by the looks of it. Picture? Photo of Anne with Grace. Presumably when we were children. Okay. Because you look pretty young there. Oh god, there's ghostly whispers in the background. Oh, there's a video camera. Is this going to be like Outlast? There's a battery right there. Can I turn touch on? Ah, there we go. F. There doesn't seem to be like a battery meter or anything like that. Old camera. Is there anything on the old camera? Can I look at it in any way? Or... No? Okay. I'll turn that off for now. It's very bright. Is that your favourite South Korean singer? <laughs> no, photo of Josh. <laughs> He's from a K-pop band. Uh, oh. We do hear little creaking noises in the background. All that. Can I interrupt the switch? Nope. Apparently not. Well, Mr. FPS, if you could um, stabilise a bit. That wasn't open before. Okay, I think the game is sort of guiding me along by opening doors and saying, oh, hey, why don't you come and look in this room over here? What's the deal with the drying machine? It's up there. Let's have a look at comics of Anne the uh, 11th. So what do you think? You like it? Yes, well, it's nice, but I don't understand why you're showing it to us. Is that a school project? No, that's what I would like to do. I mean, for a living. Uh, videos on the internet? Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but... And and darling, I'll stop you right there before I get my blood pressure up again. You may waste your life in any way you want, only after you've devoted your body and soul to your one priority, college. You know that your father and I never stopped you from pursuing your little hobbies, but I won't let anything, I mean anything, stand between you and the best grades in your class, do you understand? But Mum, no but Anne, and even, your mother is right. Do you know how much we've invested in you, all the sacrifices, the time and the resources, and you think we'd let you waste your time on, what, making dumb videos? That'd be the biggest disappointment ever. Hmm. I see. So, parents weren't supportive of Anne's... Influencer ambitions, I guess? Is that what it's about? This game? About influencers? About the uncertainty of uh, trying to make careers online? I imagine so. 
I feel like that's probably where it's going with it, right? Still doesn't open that. And it's got that there. And that's just obviously up to another level. Alright, so we want to go downstairs then, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely a sprint, but it feels like it's only marginally faster than walking. So these... Don't actually open that one. It feels like one of those drawers at least is going to open, but I don't know. Right, that's open. So we can go in there. It's the lounge. There's the big chunky TV right there. Oh god, Jesus. I don't know what the hell that was for a second. I thought we actually got taxidermy deer on the wall. Who's this? Photo of Anne as a teenager. Okay, okay. What if they probably used uh, an actual dev? as the model for the character. Or you never know, maybe they actually hired a certain person to be the character. Ooh, alternative use. What's that mean? Ooh. Is that Aki Dearest? I recognise that girl just then. <laughs> yes, yeah, is that Aki Dearest? It looks like her. Ah, they got Aki Dearest to act in a thing for this game? That's interesting. Yeah, she's there. Oh, and that's fucking... That's fucking... What's his face? It's the fucking anime man. What's he called? Joey. Okay. What is going on here? So they're being chased through a building? Yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> it's the anime man here. <laughs> oh dear. Deary me, what's that down there? Oh god, I can't even see that. Uh, can I turn my torch off, please, before I freaking look at that? Comics serve Anne 10. Anne 10. Ah, something about body image going on there. I think that's what that's probably all about. Because, look, probably obsessing about, yeah, the state of the body. Okay. I think I see where it's going. So I can turn that off. If I want to, but now nah, let's leave the let's leave the anime man <laughs> and Aki Dearest <laughs> on the television. <laughs> Why not? Oh dear. Maybe that's the true horror of this game. Aki Dearest and the anime man have been putting together a strange music video that is now on my TV. So, okay. I guess the point of coming in here was to see that that comic there. So, is this does this video have like a point to it? I'm not entirely sure. Reminds me of obviously Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 when Jack Septicai showed up. Top of the morning to you, it's me, Jack Septicai. <laughs> Push that like video like a bass <laughs> and all that. There's gonna be another door or something somewhere that's opened if we go through this way. Alright, door's over there. Ah, it probably wants us to go in there. Oh boy. Well that doesn't look good. Do you think that's the final one we're gonna go through? Probably. Okay, so so far the FPS. I was about to say, so far the FPS in here seems to be fine, but then it just dropped again. So when you look in certain directions, it'll get clipped. That's not what I wanted. Oh god. You're going to make me look through, aren't you, and something's going to jump out. Alright, fine. Is there something through there? Hello? The whispers. I hear the whispers again. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Open it. Do I turn my torch off and maybe... Ooh. Oh wait, there's a code there. One two eight zero on that box up there. One two eight zero. Okay, so something needs a code. Oh god, we can. Oh great, we can go straight down to the basement. Never mind, this is not the final place we're gonna go. Well, maybe it is. Maybe we can't actually go through those other doors. One two eight zero. Twelve eighty. One thousand two hundred eighty. One hundred twenty eight zero. One two hundred eighty. Yes, recite numbers to yourself, Red. That'll keep you calm. Oh. Wait, is that... Oh, God, I just heard something else open. All right, fine. What opened? Oh, hell no. You shut me in. A freaking monster. Oh, no. No, you're just playing games with me. I thought you'd have actually locked me. Oh, hello. Well, you're open now. Let's go into the creepy bathroom, no doubt. Oh, look, it's like a very... Ugh. It's a grimy-looking bathroom, not gonna lie. Is that something out of PT? Is there a fetus in the sink somewhere? Can I open the medicine cabinet? Nope. Okie doke. Cockroaches? Anywhere? Nah, this is not PT. Stop making the comparison. Well, Jesus. That is shot on its own. Oh, great. I'm locked in. 
Lovely. No doubt something's going to jump out at me. Oh, look. <laughs> I have a reflection of a torch, but not of a person. How curious. Can I open the cupboards? Open the cupboards, open the drawers, take the pills, use the shampoo. Hmm, what's that there? Is that something? What is that? Uh, pa pain, pain away. It's like a pain relief thing. Oh, great. What am I doing here? Is there something outside the window? Why is it all boarded up? That's not very good. Hmm. Clearly there's something in here it wants me to do. And I just need to discover what it is. God. Ever since PT, one always is concerned about bathrooms. Alright, is there anything actually in here? Or... Doesn't seem to be really anything I can interact with, unless there's just like something random somewhere that I'm supposed to click on. Uh, something with this, maybe? No? Mm. Oh, God, there's a key there. Didn't even see that. I it, but I need something thin to reach it. Okay, go upstairs. Oh, God, why are you blinking? Oh, pig. Okay. Whale. I see. Is it about abuse on social media? Oh, God. What just happened? I've tried, Anne. Oh, God, I'm... Really, I tried to be your friend. But friendship doesn't work that way. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, that's a bit... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, it just uh, rendered the texture improperly. Okay, so... Either... This is a story of... Suicide or a story of potential self-harm. Maybe that's... Oh. Wow, there's not even a window now, is there? Okay, so it's going all down that psychological route, basically, is what's happening. Aha! That was like a comic. Comics of Anne 2. Oh god, that's actually hard to read. And come on, you haven't seen, you haven't been out in weeks. Come over tonight. No, Grace, I don't re really feel like it. Come on, my parents are out for dinner. I'll have the house, we'll have the house all to ourselves. Let's have a movie night, popcorn and ice cream. That's exactly the point. I don't want to eat those things anymore. I don't want to be fat anymore. But you're not, you're just, just what? Sorry, I'm chubby, plump, rotund. Say it any way you like. I suck. I really am a whale. I don't mean to offend you. I know, Grace. You're not like everyone else. Come on, let's still meet tonight. Let's just put on a movie and no junk food. I swear. Are you in? All oh, right. Okay, so yeah, someone's becoming quite self-isolated. That's what's going on here. Obsessing with self-image and all that. Because that's obviously the big theme. The, the, the big thing with like social media, you know creating an image of yourself and all that that doesn't match up to reality and then worrying what other people think of you. Alright, this has changed, so... Or has it? Oh no, that was the door that just went back through to the main hall, wasn't it? Alright. Was there a telephone there before? I don't remember there being a telephone there a moment ago, but... Alright. Anne, I know you said you wanted to be alone, but I'm worried about you. Please call me when you hear this message, okay? Uh oh. Something just unlocked. I still got that code in mind. 1208. Maybe it's for here. Hold on. 1, 2. Was it 8080? Zero. Hit. Call. Okay. Nope. Can't call on there. Thought maybe I could dial a number. And maybe that'd give me a different ending or something. We're going into the basement again. Let's go into the basement with all the blood. Sure. Definitely won't be a hanging body or something down here. You can't just seek me out when you want to skew venom about another person. And then never be there when I need you. This has been going on for almost a year now. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I mean it. You've been my best friend since first grade. But this is not you. I feel like I'm seeing a different person. It's looping. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was looping on like a staircase or something. Okay. This is spooky. Scary. Spookums. Right, I don't think I actually need that torch on what I'm doing. Okay, FPS is a bit more stable in here, actually. It's gone up to about 40, which is better than it was before. Turn that on. I hope it's not like more comics or anything down here that I should be looking at, because I could very easily miss them with the amount of stuff on the shelves. Okay. I think I, think I see where the story's going, of course, though. This person we're playing as has become very isolated. Probably depressed. Socially anxious, you know, worried about 
what strangers on the internet think. Oh great, is there a friggin' fuse puzzle at some point here? Feels like that could be a thing that's gonna put on me. Yeah, that sprint is... that's not even a sprint, that's just a very quick walk. Oh look! I could try to get the key in the sink with this one. Alright, back upstairs we go then. Do it. Oh! Uh oh! That was a fucking monster! Oh shit! Yeah, I'm out! I'm out! I don't know what that was! But is there something down here with me? Yeah. Oh! Oh! What is that? Shit! Christ! There was actually a fucking monster there! What am I supposed to do? Wait, how do I get in? How do I get- Hey! God, you're right there! Oh. Am I dead? Wait, where was it? Where was I meant to go there? It just ran me in a circle. What the fuck? Am I supposed to crouch and get my way out somehow, or...? Wait, what? What was I supposed to do? Oh, what? 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 What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just give it the loop around? Like, this is not even a sprint. I'm barely fucking moving. Wait, what? Where are you? Oh my god, what? I think I'm just doing the right thing. I think I just have to move. I have to keep going and just get to the stairs. Go, go, go. It's over here. That's it. Shut the door behind us. There we go. Jesus. That was loud. Whew. Okay, I solved it. It's a bit of a labyrinth. Well, I say labyrinth. It's like a small labyrinth in that friggin' basement. As a result, I thought I got blocked in. Oh, great. There's no... Well, now there's missing doors. Things are definitely changing here. Take me through to where I need to be. Please. Where's Aki Dearest and the anime man when you need him? Oh, well, that feels like it definitely looped. Take me to... That's not the bathroom. Where the hell is the bathroom? Bathroom's gotta be somewhere around this way. Okay, you want me to go this way then? Fine. Oh, that's quite like. Oh, no. We need some kind of fucking labyrinth here. I just need to find my way out. Oh, jeez. Where do I go? Because these doors are all shut. Uh, and so I'm having to go back the way I came then. Oh. Well, there's freaking shelving unit over here that I can't move or whatever. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. Did I come from there? Okay, do I just have to go back on myself? Because there wasn't anywhere else to go back there. God, that's loud. This just leads me back to the basement, though. Wait. Do I not have an inventory? Uh, am I supposed to do something? Yeah. Open the doors, please. Oh, it's got to be something here, maybe. Is it doing the thing where it guides you with light? There's nothing there, though. That's not helpful at all. God, that is so freaking noisy. Okay, never mind. There was a figure there. That's what's supposed to happen. There we go. We made progress. And it wasn't a death. Well, at least we got back here. So it's basically PT, Layers of Fear. It's that kind of game, essentially. You know, I'm gonna have that key. I'm gonna have the key. Get, look at the key. There you go. Get that there screwdriver, ram it down that sink. Destroy the porcelain. Wow, do you really need that to do that? Couldn't just use your finger? I guess it was so wedged in there, was it? Who's behind me? Nobody. So you got rid of the candle as well, off the toilet. Hello? What was the key actually even for? I've completely forgotten what it was. Um, oh, things seem to be back to sort of normal, don't they? 
do we want to go in the basement? I don't think we do. There must be another door somewhere. It wants me to open. Was there another door somewhere? I could hear us and Joey. There you are. Back on. <laughs> it's the anime man. <laughs> Calm down with those two. Alright, can I leave? Nope, I can't. Of course I can't. You can never leave in these kind of games. Alright, probably, she probably said before, oh. Was that always that picture there? I don't remember that. And that was the bedroom over there. Is this door over open? Nope. There wasn't another door up this way, was there? Or was there? Well, there was this, but I don't know if we could go in here before, could we? Well, it's definitely locked now. Alright, so the key's got to go to somewhere. i just got to figure out where it where it goes to. Did the bedroom change, maybe? Did the bedroom change? God, no, just a drop in frame rate as usual. Hmm, what's that? Oh, an old CD, which I can't freaking look at because the torch is just freaking bright as fuck. Sebastiano Serafini. I thought Serafini was the company that made this. Oh, wait, 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 what's that? Card of Pascal. I have no idea what kind of animal it is. It looks like a seagull, but it has teeth like a small dinosaur. It doesn't look very smart. I wonder if it's okay to eat. Curious. It's an odd thing to have in the bedroom. I thought it was like a Pokemon card. Also, oh, wait a minute, what's this? Diary page one. Oh, God, it's in cursive. I've lost ten pounds. I've finally reached my, go um, my goal weight. I can't believe I made it through the summer vacation. It was really hard. I was even dreaming about sweets at night. But now no one will be able to call me fat or a ball of lard again. Starting tomorrow, everyone will have to compliment me on how I am, how thin I am. It will be a fabulous return to school. Even Mum and Dad were surprised. They didn't believe I could do it. They never believed in me, but I do now. Oh dear. So it's the obsession, basically. That's what it is. She's becoming obsessed with just, you know, losing weight. Appearances, that kind of thing. Alright, so there's got to be somewhere else I'm meant to go here. Am I meant to go down to the basement again? I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, wait a minute. Was that like that before? That doesn't feel like that was like that before. Can I open a drawer? <laughs> Just knocking my knuckles all over them. Oh, they switched the TV off. Nah, gotta leave that on. Hmm. What am I doing? Jeez. Um, right. What was the frigging key for again? I've completely forgotten what it was. They probably said what it was for, and I've just forgotten because I got so distracted with that freaking monster down there. Right, well, the only place I can go seems to be the basement. So there's... No, that's just that. I still have that code, 1280, which I still don't know what it goes to. Alternative use. Oh, there we go. So it was for that. Oh, well, this changed. This is definitely like fucking layers of fear, isn't it? Hello, hello. What kind of strange basements do they have over in the States, eh? Assuming this is an American production. Anyone want a code? Anyone want some numbers? A bit of the old 1280, that's glowing red, which is not a good sign. That's probably where it wants me to go, isn't it? I want us all this friggin' short that you got down here. Anything in this little alcove? Well, then, boxes? Lights? Ah, told you. What have we got here? Comics of Am 7. I'm telling you, there are always more screws than what the instruction manual says. Even if it were, they wouldn't be enough. Okay, I give up. I officially need a break. Are we going out for dinner? Alright, as long as we're back by 9pm, I can't be late. I have an important li uh, live stream to do. Yes, yes, I know. We'll be back by t uh, back in time with social media. Oh, God, that's a lot of writing on there. In 1969, Swiss psychiatrist Elizabeth Ross formulated a theory on the stages of grieving. Modern psychology added numerous variations with different names, but in essence, the five stages of grief represent a very specific path that each person faces after a loss. The, uh, what does it say? The, the what? The what? The length? God, I can't read that. I, I always struggle to read cursive. I freaking, <clears throat> I hate cursive, right? Don't ever write in cursive, people. Cursive is just fucking difficult to read. I don't care if it looks fancy. It makes it hard for other people to read what the hell you're trying to communicate. Just, you know, if you're going to have a game with cursive, have an option where you can just press a button and then it just puts it in, puts it in normal text. Length of the entire... Uh, pr 
process cannot be defined because it depends on each person's capacity, willingness and resilience. Moreover, the stages of processing grief are not always so linear and interrelated. Yep, yeah, five stages of grief. Okay. So we're suggesting that this character has lost someone or something. Well, it could be metaphorical rather than literal. It could be like the loss of, I don't know, innocence or something. Why is this glowing red? Oh god. Right, there's a ladder, of course there is. Can I go up the ladder? I can if I click on it. Oh joy, we're climbing. We're ascending to God only knows what. Oh, where the hell are we now? How's this? Is that there? Is that something I can look at? Oh. I just picked something up. I don't even know what it was I just picked up. And what's this? What's all this? There's weirdness going on here. And what have you got going on in this house of yours? What's that? That is Elisa's, Elisa's tarot. Okay, tarot cards. You're getting into those, are you? Curious. Oh, didn't realise that would open. Something in there that I can look at? Oh. Okay, that was actually a... Secret entrance. Oh, I see. Oh, God, it's behind a friggin' uh, bookcase or something, isn't it? Oh, wait, did I just... No, it's unlocked. All right, forward. I thought I just double-tapped it. You see, here we are. Sneaky. Who has that in their house, though, seriously? So what did I just fucking pick up? I just picked something up. I don't know what, though. Beautiful music. Uh, right. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we looking for? Where are we going from here? That is the question. We saw that one, didn't we? Yeah, we saw that one. That was about the parents. Did another door open somewhere? I'm going to assume so. Well, that picture again. Oh, that's that one. We've seen that one already. Hello. Show me what you got around here. Is there anything upstairs? Any change up here? Okay, so I just looked at a playthrough by IGP just to get to this one bit that I seem to be stuck on. So apparently there's supposed to be an inventory that I can open in this game, but it's not giving me any indication, I don't think, what the control is for that. Well, I'm, I'm pressing random buttons. I'm pressing, like, tab. And, like, buttons that you would potentially expect to be maybe an inventory key, but they don't seem to be, like, doing anything. Um... P L K J I don't know. Well, that's obviously that. Um, right, I haven't, I haven't a fucking clue. But apparently the solution is that I picked up a piece of a painting, which should be for here. But I feel like I've clicked on this a million times already and nothing's happened. Oh my god, I didn't right click. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh boy. Okay, right. I will... I will admit, not thinking to right-click after we have had a couple of right-click things with doors, that's on me. But in my defence, at no point did the game tell me I had an inventory system, as far as I remember. Nor did it tell me what I picked up. So as a result, I had no idea. I just had to click things. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we can move on. Right, something else is unlocked. I heard that. Was it something down here, maybe? Through this. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Did that just friggin... It just glitched in and out of existence momentarily. Alright, so what opened? Was it something upstairs? Okay, I don't know if maybe I just hit a... Ugh. God, I'm... I'm just annoyed at myself for not thinking to right-click. Because I'm a dumb baby. Yeah, it is this that opened. Oh, bollocks, what is this? The attic space, no doubt. Okay. Sure. Alright, there's definitely a couple of things in here we can look at by the looks of it. What's this? Anger, bargaining, depression. Oh, wait, it's denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, of course. Yeah. Stages of grief and all that. Oh, you've got a piano up here. What is that thing? A... Oh, it's a plush. A very scary-looking cat plush. Pach Pachugo? I don't know how to pronounce that at all. Uh, what's this? Another picture? Greece? Don't worry, Anne. You will always be a good friend to me. The best in the world. My god, we had this conversation years ago. I'm 
miss her. I feel like I haven't seen her in forever. Have we got the Zodiac? Is it, no, not Zodiac. Zodiac symbols? Are these? No. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything about the Zodiac. But, definitely feels like you've got some weird symbology going on there. What's this here? Oh, demon Demoniality. Incubi and Succubi, a book of demonology. Well, that's a nice thing to have just in your house, isn't it? I've been summoning the demons, the social media demons. Mm. Alright. Well, we saw that, so... I wonder if that's everything, then, that there is up here. Just get the picture about Grace and trigger that little flashback. Okay, okay. Right, through here, then. So where now? Where do we want to go from here? Is something else unlock? Is another monster? Oh, it's the radio. There are still no updates on the sudden disappearance of world-renowned online personality Akidira. What? The girl has gone missing from her Tokyo apartment last week. The investigation is still ongoing, but police have ruled out any foul play. Friends claim that the last time Aki was seen, she seemed normal and happy. Though an anonymous insider claims she had been complaining about odd followers. Her boyfriend is yet to release an official statement. Aki's family flew to Japan and made a public plea this morning. Well, that got dark. We hope for the best, don't we, Bob? We will cover any major update. Okay, so that's where Aki Dearest and freaking Anime Man are coming into the story, are they? So now it's about stalkers, potentially? Odd followers? Weirdos on the internet? I mean, it makes sense, I guess, when you're an online personality, there's all kinds of freaks out there. Sorry, I shouldn't really <laughs> talk about so dismissively, because obviously a lot of people might just have, like, mental health conditions, things like that, need help, but yes, you have to take precautions. Anything with this now? Oh. Well, that's now just static. Nothing at all. So I guess the image we've seen on there before is the story of Aki being, I don't know, stalked, I guess? Is that what it was? So where are we going now? Um, are we going to the basement again? Because the game hasn't... Oh, God. There was a lag spike just then. Okay. We're getting little lag spikes all of a sudden. Maybe there is something down here. Maybe I've come to the right location. Did something change? There's something going on in here. That's just a little alcove with stuff in there that we've already seen. Um, and this just goes back round again, doesn't it? Okay, maybe nothing changed around here then. Okay, okay. So is there anything I can interact with with the right mouse button then? That maybe I should be. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look, shall we? Uh, no, we're back here again. This is not. No. No, this doesn't look right. Um. Hmm. Hello. I can still knock, but that doesn't really do anything, does it? Right. Right. What do you want me to do now? Oh, God, right, we're back to this then, so... There's something it wants me to do now, but it hasn't given me any direction in terms of where to go. I mean, I know it's... Oh, God, I was, like, rattling the drawers again. Um, hmm. So it gave me a radio message, and if that's the only clue I have to go on, then I would assume it's something to do with the lounge, the TV, and the whole Aki story, but... Can I interact with the VCR? Oh! Oh! Huh. You telling me there's a thing I can insert into the TV, maybe? Hold on. If I just watch, will something happen? I mean, it doesn't feel like anything's going to happen, but... Or is there a tape that I have to find? I feel like it's telling me maybe I need to find a tape. But if so, where the hell would the tape be? Um, assuming there is one, I don't know. Uh, where would it be? It's got to be around somewhere, right? God, I still keep getting little lags. Oh, wait a minute. 
this is completely different. Never mind. This is not what we had before. So this is where I'm meant to be. Never mind, I just need to explore a little bit more, that's all. So you got another set of drawers. What's all like the wires going everywhere? Alright. Eyes wide open. Alright, go this way. <laughs> Breezer. <laughs> yeah, kitchen. Spaghetti and meatballs. It's a very miserable looking spaghetti and meatballs, not gonna lie. Aha! This is more like it. The whale has arrived, hide the chips. Um if you cannonball, you'll empty the pool, but aren't you afraid of sinking with all that blubber? Come on, let's see if the fatty floats. No, what are you doing? Leave me alone. And then they throw a rim. Yeah, it's about that, just that fear of body image, I guess. I don't know if it's literally saying she was bullied or what, but... June's cookbook. Food for a happier and healthier lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. Can we open any of the cupboards? No. No, nothing there. God, it's a very grimy stove. Need to freaking get cleaner on that. In fact, get a new one, because it's all chipped up by the looks of it. Me thinks maybe this house, I don't know, hasn't seen much by way of care. It, whoa. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, what's up? You're Aki Dearest. Hi. Um, I need your help to get out of here. What are you doing in there? I don't know. I can't remember anything, and I don't know what's going on. All I know is that I need your help to get out of here. I don't know what to do. Break the TV or something! How? I don't care! Hurry up and do it! Ugh. Aki dearest, you're being suddenly very terrifying. What's going on? Break TV? Alright, how do I... Oh, okay, just like this. I was wondering if I needed an object, or if I could just click on it, but it looks like... All I need to do is click on it. Okay, so is that kind of a metaphor for, you know, breaking the images, you know, getting out of that whole shebang, destroying the thing that you're obsessing about, maybe, so you're no longer on the screen and all that. So where do I go now from here? So I broke the TV, but now what? Where does that get me from this point? There's got to be something around here. I don't think it's in the basement again. Maybe if I investigate the TV once more? Yep. Okay, not that. Alright, maybe a, maybe there was something else in that room I was supposed to do. I don't know why I keep holding down shift. I keep thinking there's a sprint even though there isn't. Alright, well the TV's smashed. Now what? Um, hmm. Hmm. This was just the kitchen over here. Uh. This isn't where we need to be. I saw that comic strip. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, something opened up over here, I see. Okie doke. Just got to look around and see if a new path is unlocked, that's all. It's quite a big demo, this, isn't it? Oh! I told... Okay. Yeah, sure. Demons have come to visit. I told you there'd be a VHS tape at some point. It just feels like if you can interact with a VHS player on the TV, that means... It's going to... Uh, don't. Don't. Please. Don't. Why is it just like a horrible little room of nothingness? Oh, it's like a biohazard bag down there. What's that about? Good lord. Right, why did I come in here then? Is there some reason for this room? Oh, God. Jesus, another weird little lag spike just then. Don't know what that was. Yeah, I think, uh... I don't know if it's the game or if it's my PC. It's just the optimization of it. Because, like I say, sometimes the FPS just drops considerably. And other, you know, other times I look in certain directions and it is, is very choppy. Because I checked before I started recording this that my graphics drivers were up to date. And as far as I can tell, they are. I don't see why my PC would not be able to run this. So, I don't know. All right. Come on. Chunk that in there. There we go. That's how you do it. So could I have just accessed my inventory? No. At any time using right mouse? I'm not sure. All right. Turn that bad boy on. Show me the tape. What's the tape actually called? It's called The Animal in You. Uh, do I have to press play? Hold on. Press play. There we go. Press the play. Ah. 
Welcome to The Animal in You, where we try to make sense of your life through valuable lessons from the animal world. Today's question is, are you in self-denial? Are you hiding your head in the sand? Are you acting like an earthworm? Well, there's no doubt about it. Yes, you are oh, okay. an earthworm. Wow. Something in your that life is wrong. My self you pretend that everything's all right. You deny it. You shy away from the light. But let me tell you something. As you're crawling and cowering in the dark somewhere underground, you're missing out on what's above. All the flowers and the plants out in the sun. You can't see them thrive. Or maybe you don't care. Actually, you're neglecting them. But if you don't take care of plants, do you know what happens? They die. And ignoring them will only make them die sooner. So, Instead of running away from your problems, why don't you start crawling to the surface? Why don't you start to love yourself and take good care? Don't you want to share the sun with the flowers? Yes, I feel very motivated, thank you very much. Oh, you're rewinding that bad boy, are you? Well, we've seen it now. We don't need to watch that spiel again. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, so now what? Uh, where do I go from here? Okay, well, just look around. See if there's a wet path that opened up somewhere. Basement's still open. That's still like that. Did something else open over here? Oh, no, that's just a destroyed TV. Did this... Oh! What just happened? Oh! Oh, uh, what? Hi! Hey, you are lovely! Okay! Hey! How's it going? Big worm man? Alright, let me just look at that. Heart spaghetti recipe. Heart milk spaghetti, 35 minutes for three people. Medium level. Ingredients, one heart. Oh, lovely. 0.5 litres of milk, spaghetti with leftovers, meatballs. Cut the heart into strips, set half aside for the garnish and dice the rest. In a saucepan, add the milk and bring it to a boil. Add the cubes and cook over medium heat for 15 minutes. Take the leftover spaghetti, noodles with the meatballs and roughly chop them up. You don't need to be precise, so have fun. You can even use your hands at this stage. Remove the heart from the heat and add the noodles. Stir vigorously, put it back on the heat and let it simmer for a few minutes. The bright colour of the heart and the dull colour of the meatballs will give your dish a reddish brown hue that will knock your socks off. Remove from the heat. Transfer to a serving dish and decorate with the strips of heart you set aside. I enjoy grilling them, but you can let your imagination run wild surf heart. Be sure to watch out for splashes. The milk can be deadly when hot. Yes, deadly milk. So, what's your deal, buddy? I mean, you're not the dinner guest I was expecting to show up, but do you want some heart meatballs? Bit of heart spaghetti? Hmm? Bit of mom spaghetti? Bit of sketty wetty? Alright, you know, you're not much of a talker, are you? Okay, maybe we'll chop you up for the spaghetti. You're kind of noodle-shaped and all that, you freak. Okay, I'm just going to go I'm go to the kitchen, get my noodles and all that. Here's my noodles, bitch. Well, at least we saw these before. Oh, are we literally taking it over to you? Stuff those meatballs in the giant monster's mouth. Come on, you want some meatballs, bruh? Yeah, uh, how do I meatball? I can look at that again. Okay, I need to figure out how to meatball. Maybe I need to put meatballs on stove, in pan. Maybe that's it. Aha! You see? Like that? Oh, wait. Did that work? Wait, I did something. What did I just do? Hello? Did... What? What did... Did I... Did I do? Did do good I? I don't know. Well, thanks for the creepy music in the background. Uh, nothing else going on over there. Alright, Spaghetti Noodle Monster is still just chilling out over there. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, you got like a hole in ya. What's your deal? You know, right there, bud. You're just like sort of hanging out, chilling, you know, as you do. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I feel like there's probably something else I'm supposed to do in there, actually. Yeah. That's the only thing with this game. Oh, wait a minute. Is that bleach? Oh, bollocks. Or oh, is that milk? No. Milk, maybe? Is that beer bottles? Maybe it's milk. I thought it was bleach for a second. I thought, oh god, are we going in the suicide direction? Is that what it's going with? Did I put the bleach or the milk in here? There you go, see? So I've got 
the meatballs and the spaghetti, I got the milk. And now I need a heart. Where do I get the heart from? Is that also in here? Do I carve it out of my own chest? Is that what the freaking biohazard bag is? Oh, bollocks. That feels bad. Okay, never mind. Can't interact with that at all. There's got to be something I can interact with. So that it shows up in like a little glow or something. Okie doke. Heartman, do you know what to do? Heartman? Heartman? No, he's a character from Death Stranding. What am I thinking? Noodle Man. Do you have any idea where I can get the heart? Hmm? We're just going to hang out there and be an absolutely terribly unsociable dinner guest and all that. Heart, heart. Maybe I need a knife. I don't know. I do not know. Mr. Frodo, is there a knife around here? On the chopping board, maybe? Spoon? Hmm. Heart. Heart. That's what I need. So I feel like I've definitely been putting things in the thing. In the bowl. Right. Where do I get a knife from? I haven't seen a knife or anything anywhere. Do I even need a knife? Or is it something else that you want me to get? Wait. Or just fucking... Oh, wait a minute. It's one of these things, is it? Oh, wait. Oh, there's the code over there. 1280. I didn't even realise I'm behind here now. That's why that doesn't open properly before. Alright, what am I what am I what am I fucking looking for? What am I what am I looking for? Because I've looked around here, I don't think there's been all that much. Did something else just appear somewhere that I'm supposed to be interacting with? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, okay. It's now just on the bed. Right, I see. Once again, it's just a matter of you've got to explore the whole apartment. Yeah, okay. Well, we got the heart, at least. That's there. How's this going to turn out, then, when we get this nice heart spaghetti in there? Let's have a little look now, shall we? We go down this here way. Go and complete the meal. Right, through here, then. Now, uh -huh. Don't you worry, old boy. That heart spaghetti is coming right up. It's going to be the most delicious heart spaghetti you've ever tried. It's going to knock your socks off. You're going to absolutely love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got a bit of garnish on the side. You're going to love it, buddy. It's going to be so tasty and so delicious. You're going to be asking for more. You're going to be asking for seconds and all that. You want it? You want this? The heart milk spaghetti? Oh, God, it's very shiny when you do that. Is it supposed to, is it supposed to look like that? I think I found a bug. It looks like the plate... When you look at it from certain angles, it doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, weird. Have some of the heart spaghetti, buddy. wonder how much more of this there actually is, this demo. Are you going to shovel it in? Yeah, you do that. You shovel that heart spaghetti right in there, lady. Oh. Oh. Wow. He left without even so much as a thank you. Well, it appears we can go through here now. Well, that's the deal. So, in total, I've been recording for more than an hour at this point. I'll probably have to edit some of the footage just to shrink the whole thing down a little bit. Aha! Well, this is new over here. I can turn that off. Oh, it's uh, classroom. Yeah, she was bullied by classmates. I think we kind of figured that out by this point. Yeah, it's all up there. I mean, it's a very topical theme, obviously. Social media and just, you know... The I thought of that it. everyone would have noticed my change when I went back to school with my new look. They'd been making fun of me for years. They'd make me feel like a freak. And after I starved myself for an entire summer, nobody even came to me to apologize or say something nice. Nothing. I'm not their freak show anymore. And now they don't see me. But they won't ignore me forever. I'm better than them. I'm special. They'll be forced to look at me. Ah, oh, there you go. Was that the end? Yep. Yeah. That's the end indeed. Oh, I didn't actually even notice that. Rachel and Jun. The Jun's cookbook. That was a reference to another set of influencers, wasn't it? Rachel and John, the ones in Japan. Didn't even realise that at the time. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. Well, 
Oh god, right, there, there we go. Is it going back to the main menu? Kind of hope that it will do. All right, let's see. God, yeah, it's a bit... Sometimes the loadings, the loading times in this are a bit sort of... sort of stretched. I don't know. I think maybe there are optimization issues that just need to be patched up a bit with this one. Uh, hello, is anything happening here? I'm always worried with these loadings that it's... Oh, jeez. Hello? What's what's going on there? My mouse cursor is in and nothing else is happening. Oh, God, there we go. Jesus. Okay, I don't know if it just cut out a load of my Bandicam audio there. So, um, yeah, let me just check that. One second, all. All right, I just checked. Luckily, it didn't cut any of my audio there, so I don't need to repeat myself. Yeah, so, as I was saying, um, you know, that was an interesting little demo, that was. Um... Not without a couple of gripes, minor gripes, I would say. So, yeah, like I say, there are possibly optimization issues, which maybe the devs just need to work on a little bit. Because, like I say, I feel like my PC is beefy enough to be able to handle this. It should be. And I've updated the drivers and everything, and yet there were still frame rate issues. So, like I say, I mean, it could be an issue on my end, I don't know. But it is worth perhaps the devs just taking a look and just checking the optimization to make sure it works smoothly and um, you know overall I would say I enjoyed that but there were some areas where and I, I will concede that you know to some extent partly it is my fault for you know not realizing certain things or forgetting that like for example you can right click but there are times in the game where it does become very much a bit of an item hunt where the game doesn't necessarily give you a clue in terms of what exactly you might be looking for instead it just leaves you to just figure it out and there are moments there where that can become, I don't know, a bit frustratingly slow. Well, not frustratingly slow, maybe just a bit tedious. And yeah, that's something I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you don't, with, with game design, you don't want to be holding your player's hand all the time and just saying, okay, now you need to specifically go here and find this. But I think sometimes maybe just a bit more of a clue would be helpful in terms of just not necessarily what you're looking for, but maybe where you're looking for it. So that, that way you know where exactly you're supposed to be focused on. Because otherwise, you know, you just end up with a point where your player could end up bumbling around one location for absolutely ages, only to find that's not actually where they're supposed to be. And then it, it, that can get a bit tedious and a little bit frustrating. So, yeah, like I say, there are minor gripes that I do have with this. But overall, I still say it's a very good effort. And... I still enjoy it, and it is something that I wholeheartedly recommend. You know, if you're interested in it, definitely wishlist it on Steam and all that. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, I'll probably have to jump cut a fair bit of stuff out of that, because in total I've been playing it for way more than an hour. So, yeah, uh, what you'll see will be kind of me just cutting out some of the extraneous material. Other well, than that, we'll wrap up here. Facebook and Twitter links down below. Love and link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. Sorry, I just have a bit of gas coming my throat from my tea. And, uh, yeah, um... If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated and all that. But other than that, I'm going to sign off now. So, goodbye, everybody. Yeah, Jacksepticeye, get out of his sight. <laughs> well, interesting little cameo, right? The well him playing a very jade particular character. Alright, pull this open. Um, there we go. Barry, come with me. Are you a fan of Jacksepticeye, Barry? Mm. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. Uh, right, green, both green. The green was... Ah, there it is. Right, get charge. Quickly. Quickly does it. Good sprint. Gotta go fast. Go like this. Pull that off there. Get another charge. 